To construct infrastructure of the magnitude of Canberra's enlarged Cotter Dam, a great deal of planning and preliminary works are required. The enlarged Cotter Dam has many smaller projects running concurrently, all carefully coordinated and synchronised to lead to the ultimate task of building the new dam wall. One of these projects was the preparation of the site on the Cotter River where the new dam wall will be constructed. This is downstream a short distance from the original dam wall. So there was a lot of clearing and grubbing we had to do. Uh, we've cut a hole through the old stilling basin wall to allow for a three metre diameter diversion pipe to be placed through the um, old river. Uh, there's a, a, what they call a coffer dam, which is just a, basically a temporary dam to stop water running down into the Cotter precinct. We've done a lot of rock scaling of the abutments to allow safe work methods. The work involved creating conditions that could cope with heavy rainfall and overflow that may occur during the construction of the new dam wall. At the moment we've got some moxie trucks running in with uh, 300 plus rock and they're dumping in just behind in the river base. They're going to form up a, a bed and then we have this pipe which is our diversion pipe which will run from here right up to the old dam way. The pipe's approximately 300 metres long. Um, it's a three metre diameter. Um, they're constructed out of three and a half mil galvanised corrugation. Um, they're constructed in Sydney. They're rolled on a, on a press and they have flanges which join them together. This rock comes from our outside. We produce this on site and bring it down here. The, the rock's in different stages. We have 300 plus, 300 minus and then 75 minus. And as we get to the smaller sizes, that's the one that protects the diversion pipe. While the work on the Cotter Riverbed is known as the diversion, the river's natural path of flow is not being relocated. It's not actually diverted as such, it's still the same river. But if water flows over the dam wall whilst we're constructing, there's a pipe which can carry that water through our job site. So we're down in the valley floor at the moment. Um, that's the start of the diversion pipe down there where the hole in that old concrete structure is. Um, we're standing on the foundation for the pipe which is basically the old riverbed. Uh, we'll have to cover this with a 300 mil layer of rock and then we'll, this is what the pipe will get placed on for the diversion. Despite its intended submergence beneath the new reservoir, the original Cotter Dam wall also required some additional work. The reason for the work on the old wall is to raise the level. Uh, we're installing some flashboards, they're called. Uh, they just allow us to have more storage capacity whilst we're constructing the new dam. So if the water does, we get rain, and it does over top, we've got more storage capacity to contain the water. Uh, since the last time we met, there were only a couple of pipes to go downstream copper dam. And since then we've been able to complete the pipeline right through to the end of the upstream copper dam. The process the boys are undertaking now is placing uh, minus 75 mil rock around the pipe. And that'll be compacted and brought up to a metre above the pipe. And that protects it when we put the heavier rock on and when they start the uh, the, the abutments either side, it protects all the infrastructure underneath when they're blasting and cutting. No sooner had the pipe been laid, Canberra experienced some heavy rainfall which put the new conduit straight to work. We had about 150 mils the first fall a couple of weeks ago which took the dam level up to 400 millimetres above our flashboards. This latest rain, we've got uh, it's taken up one and a half metres above the existing dam level. So those flashboards are holding back one and a half metres of water, which is probably equivalent to an extra gigalitre of water that we're holding back at the moment. Uh, on Friday, we created a little dam and a, a little uh, channel into the pipe in case we had this uh, water event, this flood event, and it's operating as it should. The Cotter River diversion works are not just about getting a pipeline in place but also providing a supporting landscape that ensures the most effective response to future flood events. 
The diversion works have now been completed, enabling the next phase of work to begin, excavation of the abutment faces above the Cotter River.